And this is Daddy Pig. And then we have his son, Big Chop. Big Chop has to be separated from Daddy Pig. And we have a electric fence around him because Daddy Pig is a little aggressive with Big Chop and hurt him the other day. And so we've had to put him in there so we could heal up. And so today is eviction day for Daddy Pig. He has to be moved out and separated into his own pen and plus Peppa, his daughter, and Mommy Pig are both bred. And we need to get Daddy Pig out before piglets arrive. So y'all come along with us as we build Daddy Pig a new area. You have, let's see, one, four. two, three, four. They're already wired together. So we are down here at the rabbit and goat barn and then over there, let's see if you can see right there where the hogs are. And so we're going to put Daddy Pig. This is going to be, we think, his area. This is where we originally had Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig when we first got them last, or two years ago. Wow, it's been that long. Almost two years ago. And so Daddy Pig's going to go back down here. And then that's where the ponds are. You can see there's the water trough right there that we put in. So we're gonna get this put up now. You need me to hold the fence back? No, I'm trying to eyeball this where I can put it. Where the post is on the outside. Maybe go push on it. Hold what I got. Yeah, you don't want If y'all are wondering, I don't know if you can see, but I'm standing here trying to hold the fence up. And record. There we go. Should have brought the tripod out. 
You can let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Right here, Sean. Golf cart. Staring at the bull. Right. Oh, right here. Right here. What do you want me to do with it? Just kind of pull it out. I was gonna try to bend this around. Yeah, that's good. Unfortunately, your mulberry trees in here. I'll dig it up. Okay. This is a mulberry he planted down here. A couple pumpkins still left down here that... Did you plant those or did the pigs plant those for us? Pigs, yeah. Look at the size of that. There's another one down here. We keep thinking we've picked them all and then we come down here and we find more. Look, it's blooming. These are the Seminole or Cherokee tan. I'm not sure which ones we planted. They make like crazy. I don't remember. Another one. Looks like a David the Good. I think it is from Daisy's. Or is it one David brought last year? I think it gave us one. That's probably some seed from it. It looks like. I highly recommend y'all go to Daisy the Good Seed Store on Etsy and get seeds from them. Their seeds are very viable. They're great. And then he's got a yam planted over here as well. Yeah. We thought it would climb this pole. But it's not. Well. Goat treats. There's a pumpkin bloom right there. <gasps> okay, so this is our makeshift trailer to move daddy pig so he attempted when i was inside cooking the supper to move him and he jumped out of this this is the original i 
So we just took some panels that we had cut up and folded some of the edges around and then added some zip ties. And then he's got a makeshift top. He tries to oh, jump just out. And just a straight What a good and strong. <laughs> Y'all, we can rig some stuff up. But he's talking about going ahead and welding it up. Whoa. Possibly. Of course, I think it'll all be the same size when he does that. So, this is our... Let's look at moved around. Makeshift peak trailer. Let us know if y'all think it's going to work. So we decided the piece that you see right here, I'm tripping over mine, was, it was up, right here. Yeah, it was up top. So now he moved it down. Get, yeah, he come out. Was way up top up there. Now it's about even with the gate. He shouldn't be able to get out now. If he does, I don't know what we're gonna do to move him. Because mommy and Peppa's getting ready to have babies again. And this would be Peppa's first litter. They're not gonna be a problem to move when we move them back in the woods. Yeah, either. they're, they're. <laughs> they don't face. They're not phased at all. Well, well, if I need to move them, I won't be able to get them in there. So I guess we'll try again in the morning or tomorrow afternoon or something. Got my number now. Yeah. It's like, oh, you think you about to come in this Get gate and close boy. it? Get in there. Well, at least we know he'll get back in. Now he just got to be smooth. He'll get in there tomorrow or later. So I think we're going to put electric, he said, around the top of that pin that we just put up. Yeah, you come over a 36 inch tailgate and I think the pig panels are only 34. So, yeah, that's two inches shorter than that tailgate. Put a hot wire around the top and bottom maybe. Thinking about it, y'all.
So I come out here this morning, put feed in here to see if maybe we could coax him in after his, I guess, traumatic experience. And Tater thinks he has to hold a baby pig. It don't take much to calm it down. Is it pretty? <laughs> I don't think Daddy Pig's going to go on. There's Daddy Pig, not wanting to go in. He's got to gain his trust back. He'll get up there. He's hungry. <laughs> like <Starve> salivating. Just <laughs> starve himself to death. Let me get up there. Well, they're gonna have extra food for breakfast, huh? Yep. We'll keep you guys posted. So we missed the fun, guys. He thought he wouldn't go in. He took a little thing of corn out. I run to get the camera, turned it on, went to hit record, and I hit off. But it went super smooth. He's in there. Can you see him? So now is the fun part. Getting him out and getting him into the new pen. Okay, I didn't get to bring y'all along with us as we got the electric done, but I wanted to show you This is the cattle panels. You've seen us get some of that done and then we strung electric all the way around Because he has jumped higher than this over a gate and the first day he hit it so, and we're using the Solar IntelliShock from Premier One, and it works great. He is in hog heaven, especially after all this rain. He's loving it. Hopefully it'll dry up soon. But y'all, thanks for coming along, and we hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, y'all live like your ancestors did.